Ukrainians are facing an enemy force um, that uh, that seems to have gone on to some kind of operational defensive, namely the Russians. And if they are in dug in positions and they have armor, Russian tanks, T-62s, T-72s, BMPs, whatever, and you are able to find those positions through aerial observation of whatever type, then cluster munitions, I think, would be much more effective where you have an enemy force that's wanting to carry out some kind of offensive by penetrating a defender's line. And if those defender's lines are um, are defended by tanks, uh, mechanized infantry, for example, if you fire just a, a more simple uh, HE round, high explosive uh, tube artillery round, say for the Russians of uh, 152, that has like 33 pounds of explosive, but it's just one round about this big that goes on to the target like that. But if you fired uh, a cluster munition out of that same round with a bunch of little bomblets in it, and it and it explo- and it, it opens up in the air, you get a much wider uh, range of coverage, especially if you were trying to take out specific type targets like uh, like like enemy vehicles or something like that. That's why cluster munitions purely in a tactical sense uh, um, can be a very, very useful weapon, especially, I think, in the war that we're seeing right now uh, in in Ukraine for, for either of the two sides. I mean, there are types of cluster munitions where the the um, the older types where the, the shell uh, opens up in the air and the munitions fall pretty much wherever uh, Sir Isaac Newton tells them to fall, just by gravity and where it came out of the shell in the air. And it pretty much goes straight down. The more sophisticated types of cluster munitions like DPICM have within each one of, again, talking about uh, anti-armor uh, uh, cluster munitions, have seeking devices on those little tiny shape charges, which are maybe about like this big. And if the shell opens up in the general area where there are defending tanks, for example, then when those cluster munitions start to drop, they have a seeking device that moves them within a certain area uh, to the tank itself. So it, it's, it produces a much more accurate killing probability than if they were just dumb munitions that just fell wherever they came out of the shell.